Masters Vessel Classical Academy, Primary Section. On the Roll. Good day, pupils. My name is Philip Sussex. I'm here to handle you on Christian Religious Studies. And our class today is primary one. Our topic is definition of the term Christian and how to become a Christian. Definition of the term Christian and how to become a Christian. Objective. Explain who a Christian is and how to become a Christian. At the end of the lesson, I will expect you to explain to us Explain to me whom a Christian is and how to become a Christian. Mention three benefits of becoming a Christian. Mention three benefits of becoming a Christian. Three. Mention four moral lessons. Christianity is a religion founded by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the founder of Christianity. Members of Christianity are the followers of Christ. A Christian is, a, is one who is a follower of Christ. That person must be like Christ. That's the definition of Christian. A Christian is the one who is a follower of Christ. Becoming a Christian, there are benefits of becoming a Christian. There are, there are many of them. But today we are going to discuss only four of them. One, humble. Being a Christian, like Christ, Christ is a humble man. When he was here on earth, he was humble. He loved everyone. So, to become a Christian, you have to be humble. You have to love the people around you. You have to be kind. And you will not tell lies. These are the benefits of becoming a Christian. Number one, humble. Number two, kind. Number three, love. Number four, don't tell lies. These are the benefits of becoming a Christian. Now, steps to become a Christian. Steps, those things you have to do. To become a Christian. To become a Christian, to become a good Christian, one must turn from sin. You must turn away from your sin. You know what we mean by sin? Those things that does not give God praise. Stop telling lies, stop fighting, stop cheating, and so on. These are the sins some children engage themselves in. So to become a Christian, you have to Turn away from your sin. You must return to God. After turning away from your sin, you return to God. You must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To become a Christian, you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The person must receive the Holy Spirit. The person must receive the Holy Spirit. If you want to become a Christian, you must receive the Holy Spirit. So, having said all these things, let's go to our moral lesson. Let's go to our moral lesson. As a Christian, we should avoid sin. That's the moral lesson number one. As a Christian, we should avoid sin. Anything that will stain your life, take it away from you. That's the benefit. That's the moral lesson for today's topic. We should try to be like Christ. 
we should try to be like Christ, those characters of Christ, let them be with you. Those characters of Christ, let it be seen in you. We must pray together. Moral lesson, we must pray together. When Christ was here on earth, he prayed with people around. He gathered people and he prayed. To, they prayed together. So likewise you, as we are here on earth, we must do what? Pray together with your fellow Christians. We must share what we have with one another. We must share what we have with one, one another. Something like what? Food, dresses, clothes, and so on and so forth. Whatever thing that you lay your hand, you know you cannot finish it, you share with one another. These are the moral lessons for our today's study. Now, before we go to the assignment, I would like you to, I would like you to read the text, read the uh, notes very, very well, so that you'll be able to understand the lesson. So that you'll be able to answer the questions correctly. Who is a Christian? That's assignment number one. Who is a Christian? Number two, mention two steps of becoming a Christian. Number two, mention two steps of becoming a Christian. Then the last one, write out four moral lessons from this topic. Till we meet again, stay safe. I am Mrs. Philip Sussex.